Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart here looking at some important support and resistance levels and reminding you the importance of patience. Patience, patience, patience. Oh, it's such a big factor in trading to determine who's going to be making money and losing money because too many people do not have that patience to wait. Wait for only the best and highest probability trades. Do not take those substandard, you know, subpar trades. Do not gamble. Wait for the probabilities and make money. That's what you're after in trading. And that is what we are going to be going through in today's video. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. So I want to talk you through the Bitcoin chart here of the lows that we are currently putting in and the high that was put in last night. Obviously, the current low that was put in yesterday is sat at 10,627 and the high is put in at $10,856. Remember that because this come off the back of a really good call. But what you can see here locally with our low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, this is potentially your higher low and this is obviously potentially a lower high. So curling price action as we are maintaining within the last few days high and low. So this is what you call internal price action. Um, I want to refer you to a few posts before we go over what's happening right now. I want to refer you to a few posts that I've made over the last 24 hours. And this is where it highlights the importance of patience, having a plan and really like executing that plan to the fullest effect. Because in my honest opinion, that this price action has been choppy. It might look fairly easy, but you're given one or two trades a day. If you are trying to take five, six, seven, you know, many trades a day. I personally think it's way too choppy to be trying to sculpt trading Bitcoin. You have to be, you have to adjust your style of trading to the market conditions. And if you are trying to sculpt trade Bitcoin, I honestly think you are wasting time and money because it's very difficult to sculpt uh, in these conditions and make money. You have to adjust your style to a swing trading perspective. Myself, I am this is the most swing trading I've done in quite a long time, and I'm actually really enjoying it. I could also, uh, you know, I actually really like swing trading at the moment. Um, but I will also take day trades, and this is between, you know, really one or two trades a day, and I'm absolutely content with that because there's no need to overtrade. At the end of the day, we are here to make money. We're not here to post screenshots. So you want to take only those very best trades. So let's go over a few things that I was looking at. I feel you can take great value from this. Uh, and it started off yesterday around midday again i'm always looking at the charts i am basing all my trades off the technical analysis we were seeing at the time uh, es holding up and we were also seeing uh, gc making its rise so that cooped along with the fact bitcoin was holding support at the time i was saying well, obviously i was still in my long position and i was saying very likely that we would be at least retesting 10,840. OK, so remember that level 10840 is the level I have recognized that has confluence. Uh, I will tell you this for actually why. So this was uh, the previous day's vowel. And also we had in there, it was the CC. So I will show you that here as well. So obviously you had from the high to the low coming into the CC. And you also had really simply support, 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 support into resistance. So you can see how this is a really strong level, isn't it? So I was personally long. And I recognize this as a as a as a level that one would be looking for the retest. It's unlikely, in my opinion, anyway, that we just go straight down from here. And that is why I was maintaining in the longs looking for, well, that, that retest, to be honest. I thought that's what we would at least get. OK, obviously, then moving on in the day. Um, da, 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 da. Ah, yeah. So I gave a channel earlier in the day and this is the great channel. And I'll show you this on the charts right now. We also obviously swing fire patterns. So let's just load this up for you. So this is the channel. I'll just put this on a trend line. So you can see this is where we were taking the lows from, which is the first low here to the second low here. That gave you obviously your third touch of this channel low. OK, 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 and then obviously hit it last night. And obviously the great confluence that you had on this was also swing failure pattering that low. So you've done a swing failure pattern, which is a bullish pattern, as well as bouncing off the channel lows. And that obviously then gave you even more <laughs> reason to think that you would be coming up to test 10,800 and well in the end 10,850 as uh, that's this is the post that I wrote last night so this is what I replied to then this morning uh, I was saying last night that you know we've beat around the bush today we have been very choppy with these moves to the downs back up back down back up you know really choppy price action 
and that this can throw people off you know that choppy price action is designed to stop people out of their trades before the move actually happens okay so this is why you have to be on the ball and not over trading you know really remaining patient absolutely remaining patient i was saying i would finally like 10,850 hit as we all know <laughs> we hit 10850 let's just be honest we hit 10850 okay we, we topped out there 10856 dollars so almost the highs and um yeah people laddering in around those regions so you can see firstly the importance of doing technical analysis okay so you can see uh yesterday you in the end done a swing failure pattern onto channel support <clears throat> okay onto channel support and that's obviously not a bearish case if anything this is to stop out <laughs> to stop out <laughs> the choppy longs um that are not aware of, of of key levels or just basic market structure i generally will use a few higher lows back for my for my stop losses um and then what you have going on is the push up and actually this was a nice push because of the fact that it happened for daily close so you will know daily close you know you got your london opens your us opens these are pivotal times when you generally you generally get the bigger moves on these periods and once again you had the bigger move going into daily close uh, you know an hour before daily close you had the move to the upside to get the retest the rejection and then obviously uh well to be honest an open drive you literally got your open and you've driven all the way down to almost 10650 which remains a really key support level so i must stress this is highly technical okay the lows off of channels the highs off of confluence really 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 technical trading but if you are over trading this if you are trying to squeeze in many trades i i just truly think you're going to be throwing away money because if i i would be throwing away money but i was trying to trade this right now so one has to adjust their style of trading to be tra taking one or two trades a day I think if you're taking more than that it's just unnecessary you you want to you want to work smart not hard <laughs> to be honest like if i can if i could take less trades and make the same amount of money well i'm, I'm gonna do it because that's all you need to be doing at the moment and also recognizing where there's the opportunity okay so recognizing where the opportunity is is obviously oh, oh also key okay so i recognize that at the moment bitcoin's fairly choppy i don't want to be over trading this so i can obviously come over to another market where we're getting trends where we're getting bigger moves okay so trending days are easier to trade than ranging days um in certain circumstances okay i don't mean i guess the word that i'm saying here is not easier but you get more trades <laughs> and obviously i'm a guy that is sat in front of his computer for 12 hours a day uh, so, so i have to do something for, to fulfill my time so i will instead of trading over trading bitcoin come across to another market as you know i've, I've recently been absolutely loving the es and uh if any of you saw my prediction on the es wow well, that was obviously a prediction and a half coming up to the top of the channel getting the rejection and then actually yesterday testing 3355 um i guess i can show you this really quickly um um well basically it, it was it was the last range point of control 3355 was um a last range point of control you also had two fibonacci confluences and also you had the retest of the channel so you got that rejection of 3355 which obviously good for gave for a good sort of intraday sh short position um because overall yeah i don't want to focus too much on the yes but you know that's what i want to that's what i just want to say that you don't have to be only trading bitcoin you can view, recognize where's the opportunity let's trade where the opportunity is because the technical analysis is the same across es you know the stock market forex okay commodities cryptocurrency it's the same across all the markets they're all following technical analysis so you don't have to be married to only trading bitcoin or only trading altcoins just trade where the opportunity is that that's all i personally <laughs> do anyway okay not financial advice this video you have to do what you want to do uh but that's that's my trading strategy that's my trading plan that i'm going across here and i wanted to just give this public video to update you on the trades of the last 24 hours uh, really highlighting to you the the patience and also not getting greedy so for example if you're taking those shorts 10850 well this is clearly a take profit because 10650 is, is an important level you know you do you do have the potential that you get another bounce from here okay um so this is why i, I personally say this is a really big take profit zone and uh i want to shout out to some of the champions who absolutely follow the help and you know make money so again the swing failure pattern yesterday taking good trades it's it's sitting out waiting for the good trades and you know first trade back taking the swing failure so when you get those channel lows swing failures you take them and guess what you don't get greedy 
because from the swing failure pattern, closing at resistance, what are most people going to do? They're going to hold it into resistance and then get a good long and see really good profits turn to break even or losses. But what we're doing here, we are recognizing let's close out of longs and take short positions. So you can see it's clearly th this is the style of trading. OK, and again, another example, you know, taking longs, closing out longs taking shorts so you see you see this is really clearly how you make money it's not it's not holding on positions forever it's not getting greedy it's trading the charts making money period that's what we do at chart champions <laughs> that's what i want to teach anyway um obviously not everybody can do this uh but that's what I that's what I try and get across. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Uh, so yeah. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Obviously, I have taught you through the bullish uptrend channel that is still in place, some key levels on the chart, as well as how one must be adjusting their style of trading to fit the current trading environment. So as always, I would say, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this video, I would thoroughly appreciate a thumbs up. Or if you have not enjoyed, then you can just give it a dislike. I uh, hope that you have, I hope that you have enjoyed it though, nevertheless. And uh, yeah, shout out to all the champs. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day and goodbye.